Hey, what's up guys? Aaron here, back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus and which one you should buy. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at the immediate obvious differences between the two. So the first obvious difference is that we have two different screen sizes here. The iPhone 6 has a 4.7 inch screen and the iPhone 6 Plus has a 5.5 inch screen. Now another obvious difference is that Apple has moved the sleep wake button from the top of the device over to the right side in attempts to help reach the power button now that the devices are bigger. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the things that are similar. Now both of them have IPS LCD displays. Now both devices come with the Apple A8 processor and both devices also come with Apple's M8 Motion coprocessor. Both smartphones are 64-bit architecture devices, and both devices are available in three different storage options, 16, 64, and 128, as Apple has opted to get rid of the 32GB option in both devices, but has added in both devices a 128GB option. Now another difference is that the iPhone 6 is thinner and lighter than the iPhone 6 Plus, with the iPhone 6 coming in at 6.9mm thin, and the iPhone 6 Plus coming in at 7.1mm thin. And when it comes to weight, the iPhone 6 weighs 129 grams, and the iPhone 6 Plus weighs 172 grams. Now both devices come with a nano SIM card as well as Bluetooth 4.0, and with Touch ID, a barometer, a gyroscope, as well as an accelerometer and an ambient light sensor built out of anodized aluminum. Now both devices have a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera. This will be shipping with iOS 8. This also come with a True Tone flash. Now the iPhone 6 has a 1334 by 750 resolution, while the iPhone 6 has a full 1920 by 1080p display. Now both devices have an 8 megapixel rear eyesight camera. However, there is one big feature to the camera that sets these two devices apart. And that is that the iPhone 6 has digital image stabilization, where the iPhone 6 Plus has optical image stabilization. So optical image stabilization actually lets the lens move and rotate using the gyroscope and accelerometer and does an extremely good job of correcting any stabilization issues. So in my opinion, this is definitely a huge feature on the iPhone 6 Plus. Now another huge factor when it comes to purchasing an iPhone, and remember this is one of the biggest complaints when it comes to an iPhone is the battery life. Now the iPhone 6 Plus, because it has a bigger body, is able to have a bigger battery and overall better battery life than the iPhone 6. Now the iPhone 6 has an 1810 milliamp hour battery, while the iPhone 6 Plus has a 2915 milliamp hour battery. Now once again, the processors are the same coming in at 1.4 gigahertz. That's a dual core processor with the Apple A8 chip with the 64-bit architecture, coupled with the M8 Motion coprocessor in both devices. Now both devices have one gigabyte of RAM. These are available in silver, gold, as well as space gray. Now when it comes to pricing, the iPhone 6 Plus is $100 more than the iPhone 6. So for a base model of the iPhone 6 here in the United States, it's gonna cost $199. And for a base model, which is 16 gigabytes, for the iPhone 6 Plus here in the United States, it's gonna cost $299. Now just for $100 more at $299 for the iPhone 6, you can get a 64 gigabyte edition. And for $100 more for a total of $399, you can get the 64 gigabyte iPhone 6 Plus. Now Apple has removed the chamfered edges from both devices. Now both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus will ship with the bar across the top that will be NFC enabled. And that's gonna be for the sole purpose of NFC and Apple Pay. Now there's gonna be a couple more advantages to the iPhone 6 Plus when it comes to software, such as landscape mode for your springboard and as well as landscape mode compatibility with certain applications. Now the iPhone 6 Plus is also gonna have a feature on it called reachability. And this is Apple's answer on how to use a bigger phone one-handed. Now all you have to do to initiate reachability is double tap the home button and the entire screen is lowered down to the second half of the phone. So after the rundown of the specifications of both devices, let me know down in the comments section below whether you're gonna be purchasing the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus and let me know why you chose that particular model. Now me personally, I'll be picking up the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus for both review and giveaway purposes. I will be giving away an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6 Plus here on the channel. And also there's gonna be a tremendous amount of coverage here on the channel coming up when the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus is launched with everything from speed tests to camera tests and giveaways as well. So if you have not yet subscribed, now's a great time to do so. Now I hope this video brought you at least one piece of information that's gonna be useful for you when purchasing the iPhone 6 or the iPhone 6 Plus. Anyways guys, it's gonna do it for me on this one. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.